Hello Gemini, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be your general energy vibe check for love. We're going to take a look at whatever comes up. This is a timeless reading, so whenever it finds you, it was probably meant for you, as long as it finds you, Gemini. Uh, please show me angels what is happening for Gemini. Uh, sun, moon, and rising in love. What is happening for Gemini? Let's see Gemini, baby. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy my readings and you get any value from them because it really helps me out, Uh Okay, let's see what's crossing here. I got, got some really good cards here, Gemini. You're dealing with someone. Uh, I feel like this is a reading for someone that you're already dealing with. Someone you met. Um, Recently-ish. It's someone newish in your life and you're kind of like, oh, you know, where is this communication going? What's going to be happening between us? You're kind of not sure. There could be some kind of a halt in communication at the moment, but it's just, it's about to be released. Uh, two of Cups, Soulmate. <coughs> Excuse me, Gemini. I am incredibly sick. And I can barely speak, but I, I, I needed to sit down and do the readings today. I've been, not been able to speak for uh, five days now, and it's just... Do forgive me. Two of Cups is soulmate energy. You met someone and you got the feels for them and you're not sure if you can trust them, basically. It's like, oh, is this really my person? You know, this is like <coughs> the little version of the lovers. So this is, you know, uh, the lovers when they first meet. Um, puppy love, uh, first date, third date, you know, bimbo, himbo from Tinder, anyone in between, however it resonates for you, bimbo. You're like, yeah, like this seems faded. This seems like it's for me. Is it really for me though? Uh, and yeah, it is. Um, Knight of Swords and the Page of Wands in your current energy. So I do feel like you're either going back and forth in terms of messaging with this person. So very much himbo, bimbo from Tinder kind of energy, anyone in between. Or it could be It could be someone at a distance, too, whose house is far away. So take it as it resonates. Maybe you're already in a connection. It's kind of long, uh, long distance, maybe a little bit on and off, and the communication can come in spurts, being consistent. There could be some insecurity about communication here. There could be arguments. There could be arguments as well. But you're about to come into your own six of wands. So whoever this person is that you're connecting with, be they old or new, um, this is going to go to the next level. So, you know, if you're like dating someone from Bumble, you're about, they're going to be like, oh, I want you to meet my parents or I want you to meet my friends. Uh, someone is going to recognize your worth and your value. So this person that you're in a connection with is going to recognize how special you are. <coughs> if you have not met this person yet, I see a lot of communication here. So you do want to get on the dating apps or like through some form of communication, you are going to meet a new person. And this person is someone you can definitely invest in. Uh, eight, of, eight of coins is what you don't know that you should know. This is interesting. Let me clarify this. I'm not sure what this message is meant to be saying, but it's definitely about putting in the work. Maybe you're questioning whether this person is going to put the work in in this connection and they will. I'm saying a lot of happiness here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you like, you got like that. It's that himbo bimbo from Tinder, whoever this is you're dealing with. Maybe the communication is weird, sporadic. You're questioning this person and you're wondering, is this person going to put in the work? The angels are saying, yes, this is a secret. It's almost like a secret thought you've had inside your head. And uh, it's clarified by the Knight of Wands because you're worried that this person is a Knight of Wands here to, today, gone tomorrow. Maybe they only want one, one thing. Can they commit? This is saying yes. This person can commit. They can be a valuable um, part of your life. This person will put in the work that is required to build a relationship. The emperor at the bottom of the deck. This is someone who's responsible and mature. Maybe they come across a little bit immature. Maybe they come across as player energy. Um, but they're not. They're going to honor you. They're going to do the right thing. And you have the sun uh, as your conclusion here uh, to this particular spread. So this is... <laughs> the core of the matter here for you. The sun is saying <coughs> this will be a beautiful connection, boo boo. This is like, you know, the sun is ultimate happiness, one of the happiest. Um, for most people, most people say it's one of the best cards to get in the tarot. 
I'm not so sure, but, you know, I'm Scooby, I'm always contrary to the, you know, whatever the trends are, but uh, the sun is a great card to get for sure. Um, this is happiness, this is fulfillment, and uh, this is a feeling of security and innocence and being able to be carefree, but also supported not just by your person and the love that you have, but by the entire universe. This is a love that is nourishing. This kind of love is like food. It's like, you know, it's like ambrosia or nectar. So it's just like, you know, like so it's the food of the gods, Bebel. This is how beautiful this love will be. Um, let me get a um, Greek mythology oracle for you here. If you have any doubts about this new person, because I feel like that's like maybe the quad, that's why you're watching this video. Don't like this person. <coughs> yeah, a lot of nourishing energy. <coughs> Some of you could be dealing with someone who is um, very kind of caring or they have like a motherly or fatherly feel to them. It doesn't necessarily mean it's like an older person you're dealing with, but it's like they just have this like very protective, very nourishing. So a lot of nourishing here. Or maybe you can give this person mother love and there's nothing wrong with that. Obviously you shouldn't be someone's parent, but you know, even in the bedroom, it could be just like, you know, like just, you know, come here, come to my bosoms kind of love. It really is. Uh, Demeter, the mother is here. You know, it's all about the mother. It could be mother issues on both sides too. It's not a bad thing. We all have issues with our parents, with our upbringing, but I see healing here. And a lot of nourishing, that is the key word in your, in, in your reading in this connection here today, Bibu, is nourishing. There is nourishment to be had from this love. You will nourish each other, feed each other goodness and love and grow together. Um, this is something that could definitely grow into a connection. If you're looking to have children, could definitely have children with this person too. Um, if you're looking to, <coughs> if you already have children, excuse me, I'm sorry. My channel is a hot mess today. I apologize. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I got struck with the flu. I'm just, just honestly, it's a sign. It's a sign from the universe struck me with the same flu twice in the last two months. Cause I'm just, I don't know. I'm double stupid or something. I don't know. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of this kind of nourishing energy, this uh, energy of being able to create things, being able to be the mother or father to something or someone. So, um, you know, appreciate it for, for what it is. If you already have children, this person will take care of your children as though they were your own. So mm, very beautiful, very stable, stable energy here. Boo -boo, this is what I have for you. Today's reading is going to be a little bit short because my voice is a little... Mm. Uh, but I will see you next time. If you would like to get a private reading with me, all of the information is in the description box below. And also, what else can I tell you? Yeah, don't forget to like the video because that really helps me out. And if you comment on the video, that also helps my analytics and it helps me to um, get the message out there to uh, other boo-boos. Um, I'll see you next time, Gemini. Take care of yourself and may the angels protect you.